Hello everybody, just need a little swig of water before I started. This is Emily Mashka with Emily Mashka Studio and today I am excited to tell you guys something. <laughs> so I wanted to share something with you guys today. I recently made a discovery and um, I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm fairly new to watercolor. Um, I did take a, a really nice workshop class. Uh, quite a few years ago. Gosh, a long time ago now. I took the workshop and even back then I we just used, I think this was my brush, one of my brushes. I can't recall. Um, just use synthetic brushes. But today I discovered bah, 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 sable brushes, uh, Kalinsky sable brushes to be exact. I guess that makes a difference. I, like I said, I'm too new to this to really know the difference. Someone's trying to get in this room. Just a minute. Okay, so let me try again. <laughs> I think she is gone for a little while. So um, I recently discovered sable brushes and they're Kalinsky sable brushes, which apparently is a, makes a difference from like regular sable brushes, which like I said, I am, definitely newer to this and learning. So I don't know the difference. I can't really speak to that, but I can speak to the coolness of these brushes. So these brushes you may have noticed are a little different. I don't know if you can see that. See how this is a completely round brush all the way around. This is, looks maybe round from one angle, but it is totally flat on the other. This is a manicuring brush. These are hella cheaper than the actual sable brushes, the Kalinsky sable brushes that you buy for watercolor. Somebody else recommended these on a Facebook group that I'm a part of. And I thought, well, let me try them. They were, let's see, 20, about 25 bucks for four of them, a pack of four. They're really nice. They came in these little like individualized tubes super protected and then within that tube they had this little protecting thing on here which I've seen this before but I've I have yet to see each brush I'm not gonna do that because there's one little hair I'm gonna just take it out I've never seen a brush in these like in these tubes these so remind me of the bank tubes when you go to the bank and you put your money in you know what I'm talking about and it's like <laughs> we push the button banks and Walgreens has them. Anyway, back to sable brushes. So um, I thought, well, let me try these. This will be a good way to get my hands on some sable brushes that someone actually recommends. It's not just this Amazon review. It's like a more personal, hopefully reliable review, right? Um, and try it out and see what I think. Well, um, I think it's a game changer. <laughs> I really haven't used them much. I used them on like one little thing and it, it just it just blew my mind. So most of the time I use um, fairly inexpensive, actually very inexpensive, Kansan watercolor paper. Um, it is not a true cotton paper. I do have some cotton paper, but I'm so chintzy with it that I don't often use it. So um, maybe one day, you know, I'll use it a little more, buy it a little more. Um, it's on my wish list. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of the difference between this is a size eight. Where'd my size other? Where'd my other size eight? This is a size eight Kalinsky sable brush versus a size eight. Let's see. I don't know. This is silver white synthetic brush. Um, this brush actually has done me pretty good, but I have noticed. Oh, so what I was gonna say, I've noticed on this less expensive paper that this sable brush is amazeballs. Like, I'll show you what I mean. So let me show you, let me pick a good color here. Let me get a good color that will show up well. I don't want to do like yellow or something. Um, red is creepy to me. I'm not feeling the red. It's not creepy, but you know what I mean. It's like, 
too much. Finding just the right color, yo. Let's use berry blue because I don't use it a lot for other stuff. Okay, so there is my, oops, I'm on a pencil. There's my berry blue. Here's my size eight round brush. I'm gonna kind of be pretty liberal with this because I'm trying to illustrate a point. I loaded it up and I'm gonna move across the paper. I'm gonna see how long this color can last. I'll even kind of flip it to see if there's any color on the back side. No, there's not. It's already starting to get pretty dry. I don't want to add water just for this exercise. So, right, so it's totally like dry and done. So watch this. Pre be prepared to be amazed. So here is my size eight Kalinsky sable brush. And I'll address the shape of it here in a minute, but Right now, I just want to show you like the bombness of this. It's pretty sweet. So again, I'm just kind of, I just want to load it up. And we'll see how it compares. So right away, this isn't quite fair because I can see I didn't have as much paint on it as pigment. It's just mostly water, but still you can see, it's like the Energizer Bunny, yo. It just keeps going and going. Okay, it's starting to break up a little bit, starting to get dry. Like, really? Going on to a second line. My husband and my daughter are going crazy out there. So, I mean, look at that. And look how, I mean, it's just so consistent on this paper that's really, I mean, it's okay. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty decent, but it's not awesome, right? I think it just makes, makes stuff look so much better. So I'm gonna do it one more time, see if I can get a little more pigment on my brush rather than just water. There we go. Oops, and then this is a little bit wider than I was doing before, so let me see if I can go a little smaller. Just so we can kind of compare. So I have noticed there's an issue. Oops, that actually might be me, because that's a fingerprint. That might be my fingerprint. I did put some lotion on a while ago. I didn't think it would be an issue. But I wonder if it's that. Um, anyway, so it's starting to dry out, you know, definitely for sure if I was painting, I'd be adding water at this point, but I mean, hello, like, are you kidding me? Look at that difference. <laughs> I mean, it really starts running out here, here it, I mean, maybe it starts being affected in this area here, but that's easily double, but I mean, more than that. I mean, totally more than that. It's crazy. So I'm super excited about it. So yeah, so I think there's might be a problem with the sizing on this paper, like the like the finish basically, because there's a lot of areas that, um, well, these are all like fingerprinty. So that might be me. Let me get a new piece of paper and try out a new one. But I have noticed, even with the sizing issues, which I think that's what it is, I have noticed that this brush handles it better than my synthetic one, faux show. I mean, you can just see like, I'm doing big strokes and it's just very consistent and pretty and like soft. Let me try that same motion with my size eight synthetic. Okay, I'm already not doing as big of strokes, so let me back up. I mean, what? It didn't even make it. I am legit like up in the paint, okay? Oh, come on. I wanna give these like a really, really, really honest shot and review, but 
you can see it's just not as consistent for as long and the color runs out really quickly. It like deposited really fast and then it like lost its color. So these things, I, I was always so hesitant to get these because reviews I read are like, oh my gosh, it holds so much water. If you're not used to it, it's really difficult to get used to. I'm like, what? This makes our job easier. So the only kind of bummer about these, it is a bummer, but um, it doesn't come because of this flat, this crimped style here for, you know, mind you, it's for manicures to the nails and stuff. You know, for a nail, I could see maybe how this would be just fine. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. But for watercolor, for getting a point, like here's my size six. Stuff my brush just hanging out in the water there. Here's my size six. You can see it's much pointier, even when I flatten it out. Oh, here's my daughter again. She's very curious what I'm doing in here. So let's see. If you angle it up, you can get these little thin strokes. Let's see what happens when you angle this guy up. So let's see, this is my size eight. I'm gonna make it fair and square and do my size six. I need to soak it for a little bit though because this is the one I just took out of the package. So this is my size six. Just to show you guys the difference. Hopefully you can see that. So you can see it's still possible, it's just a lot wonkier. And it is hard to get thin. I mean, I'm trying quite hard to get a thin line. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard, but you can see like, look how consistent in color, how consistent those lines are. I mean, they're just much more vibrant than these lines. Hard that may be because I had the brush loaded up a little more, but it's just so lovely, like, see how it's not jagged on the edges? Okay, now I'm starting to run out of water. Okay, there's the sizing issue, which still, this brush handles much better than my other guy. Let's see if I can show you that. You can even hear the difference. I mean, I don't know how much more water I can put on this brush, but it sounds dry. You know, the fact that it's like mushed hair and you can't get skinny lines is problematic. But um, these, I think, are still a really good option if you wanted to try some um, sable brushes out and see how they act before you spend. I'm not kidding. Like one brush, one brush like this in a Kalinsky sable is like $45 for one brush. You can get a pack, I think, for like depending, right? Depending on the brand, maybe around like 90 bucks, a pack of like four or five. So obviously you can see, if you haven't looked into it, you can see why I was nervous to spend the money on something that I didn't know if I was even gonna like. But um, now I totally, totally want a pack of Kalinsky Sable brushes, watercolor, not for nails. I'll still keep these and use these, you know, maybe for like washes or just kind of some general things where I don't need to be super detailed. Oh, the other thing that I totally noticed was when I was doing like blooms or trying to get, not necessarily blooms, but washes, I ran into a problem with these brushes. So if I had a large area, I was playing around with them a couple nights ago and then I wanted to drop some color on here. No big deal, right? Oh, so far. What I noticed when I was dropping color in, there, it did it, right there. There, did you see that? It shoots, if I'm doing this, tappy tap tap, tappy tap tap, it's shooting color out. It like picks it up and shoots it almost like a shovel. It's like shoveling it. <laughs> there, can you see it? If you tappy tap tap, it makes little dots. 
which could be a cool effect if you're going for that effect. I'm trying to just make some dots here. But, um, can you see that? Oh my God, look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm just tapping. That's craziness to me. It really surprised me, as you can tell. So, um, it's not good for that. See, see that? It's not happening with that. I'm really trying to bounce the heck out of it to try and get it to do it. So this is, this is my um, synthetic brush, but it's a watercolor brush. And when I bounce it, nothing happening. So just to be, you know, on alert for that. But I still think like they could be a good little brush to get started with and really get that feel for if you like it. And boy, do I like it. I'm super excited and my birthday's coming up and it's totally gonna be on my birthday list. A little pricey but somebody might somebody might spoil me you never know you never know or maybe I can get a gift card towards it or something I don't know but I would love a set of Kalinsky sable brushes I mean hello gorgeous that concludes this video but I am gonna do in my next video I'm gonna do a comparison a side-by-side -side of um, the same drawing or similar it's just done by eye but um just so we can so i really but and maybe it will be helpful to you as well um so i can really get a sense of what it's like to paint with these babies versus what it's like to paint with synthetic so synthetic for one side kalinsky sable manicure brush for the other side <laughs> So yeah, anyway, if you're looking for to get into Kalinsky Sable for a super cheap price, um, this is the way to go. I don't know why they're so cheap. Um, I'm a little jealous of manicurists right now, why they be getting their brushes so cheap, but um, what ifs. So hopefully you can join me for my next video. I will include the link for these below if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.